Hi, I'm Mark Bauer with Bauer Small Engine Repair, and I'm going to show you how to clean a lawnmower carburetor. I'm going to remove the fuel tank on this model. You simply uh, slide it up. There's little tabs on the engine that hold the tank in place. You want to take off the clamp. It's this particular clamp uh, typically will break, which this one did. So you want to just take a pair of pliers, slide it, take it off. Then you can take a pair of needle nose pliers and slide it behind the fuel line, and that'll enable you to pry it off. You don't, if you try to take it off by, by squeezing the fuel line, you're just going to pinch it onto the fitting here, and you could damage that fitting. Just simply take the needle nose and pop that off. You want to take the gas that's in the tank and dispose of it properly. Chances are there dirt came from the tank, so you don't want to reuse that fuel that's in the tank. The next thing you want to do is you can get some carburetor cleaner and just put a little bit on a rag and you want to clean off this bowl so you don't, when you take the bowl off, you don't let dirt fall inside the, the, the carburetor. So you want to lay it, a rag down and so you don't get gas everywhere. Simply unscrew that jet. That, that's nut is also a main jet and this gas, this gas smells bad and has a yellowish color, it's, it's, it's stale. So um, you just loosen it up with the wrench. Once you get it loosened up with the wrench, then you can grab, the, grab it and unscrew it. Sometimes it takes two fingers. All right, the most common failure is this, this is the main jet, main jet slash bull nut. And what happens is it just gets a little piece of debris in there in the jet. You can see that little green piece of debris. Um, and then there's also a piece of the old ga the gasket, that little flake right there. And you want to simply clean that gasket off of there. Get all the old gasket off. Just like that. So you want to make sure that's clean. And the way you can do that is just simply get a piece of small wire, let's see here, and you poke it in and out of that hole and make sure that it's clean. It's really, um, it's imperative that that hole is clean. So you run the wire through there, and you can also run the wire through this hole in the middle. You want to go down the middle. Just spray a little bit out on, in, on the jet can just do that. And if you don't have carb cleaner, you can just make it really clean with just using a brush. Um, the carburetor cleaner is just uh, helps get a little bit more a little bit more of it off of there. And you want to make sure you have adequate ventilation. I have a fan going, I have the window open, the, the overhead garage door is open. This stuff is hazardous. You don't want to breathe that in. Once you're sure you have that main jet clean, and just set that aside. Now we're going to take the bowl off the carburetor. The bowl is, is only held on by that nut. So we're going to just take the bowl off. Sometimes they get stuck on there. On this one, we're going to replace the bowl. Um, we're not even going to try to clean that. What I'm going to do now is make sure that the float is uh, moving freely. And when you bring it up, it'll have a distinct click. And that clicking sound tells me that the needle is sealing on its seat, and that's a good thing. That's what you want. So we're going to take the gasket off, and you just get a little uh, screwdriver. In this case, I'm using a pick, and this gasket is really bad. So we're going to take this off here. I have compressed air, so I'm going to I'm going to blow it, blow that off. Okay, this is a new bull O-ring. We're going to put this on on the bolt on the carburetor you just get the back on first and then work your finger around to the front then just make sure that it's all the way on so you put it on the back first and then just simply uh, slide your fingers around and it'll go up into where it's supposed to be the bowl has a deep end to it one end shallow one ends deep you want to place that shallow end right where the hinge pin is so you just simply put the bowl on there we'll pull that away and now we're going to just 
get that back in place. Now we're going to tighten our nut. And that's how you clean a carburetor on a lawnmower.